They pushed in one direction and pulled in another. Four men working together to pull the cow out of the muddy hole in which it was stuck. What was once a gushing river turning into a fast drying water point in this corner of East Pokot. The commodity so precious here during the drought that locals will drink even the muddiest of water after offering thanks for the little they can get. All around them, the carcasses of livestock scattered on the bed of the river Ameyan, others near death as the drought continues. The weatherman now shining a glimmer of hope. The Metrological Department predicts that the long-awaited rains will come towards the end of March, with some parts of the country set to receive rains earlier than others. The rains should set in towards the end of this month of uh, the central highlands and uh, the southern parts of the country going into the first week. And uh, also the western parts of the country, we should see the rain setting in even before the end of the month. Wajia, Garissa, uh, Mandera, Masabit, Moyale, this area should receive rains in the early part of uh, next month. This good news for farmers across the country, anxiously waiting for the rains in order to kick off the planting season. In the same breath, however, the Metrological Department warning that just like in the last few years, Kenyans should brace themselves for poor rains. Nairobi, much of central Kenya, the Ukambani counties going to the north through Masabet, Wajia, Mandera, and along the coast, all these areas are expected to experience uh, rather poor rainfall. The western parts of the country, we could see a few areas receiving near average rainfall. But otherwise, for much of the country, we should see poor rainfall during the coming one season. Over three million people in the country are grappling with hunger, a situation attributed in part to poor rains in the last two years that led to a decrease in the country's food production, a phenomenon that is now likely to lead to a vicious cycle unless long-term measures are put in place to arrest it. In parts of the country, such as Tiati, where the livestock offtake program is yet to take off, livestock continuing to die in their numbers while locals line up for food aid. The Metrological Department asserts that February and March are typically the hottest months of the year, coming as they do before the onset of the rains. In the face of the dry spell that has swept through parts of the country, Kenyans now watching the skies for the reprieve they hope will come in April. Wilkes Anyabwa, Citizen TV in Nairobi.